got a lawnmower, on. do not reach underneath the deck. There's a reason why it has that little picture. It says <laughs> don't reach your underneath because you lose fingers. One of the most common things I treat in the office is called carpal tunnel syndrome. Many people ask, what is carpal tunnel syndrome? Well, carpal means wrist, tunnel means tunnel. Everybody has two carpal tunnels. And if I cut your wrist off and look at it on end, what you have is a situation where there are bones on three sides and a real tough ligament that goes over the top. There are certain things that have to go through that tunnel. There are two tendons to each finger and one to the thumb. So there's a total of nine tendons that have to go through that tunnel. Included is the, in that is a, the median nerve. That nerve has a tendency to get pinched on. And that's what gives your electrical shocks, your numbness, and you shake your hands, gets better, it goes numb when you drive, talk on the phone, read a book, those sorts of things. And what we start off with treatment is with wrist splints, because most of us like to sleep like this at night. The splint tends to hold your hand in a more functional type position to get the pressure off the nerve. If that's not going to work, then oftentimes I'll try to slip in a cortisone shot. Cortisone is the most potent anti-inflammatory that we have, and this really tries to take some of the pressure out of the carpal tunnel to get the pressure off the nerve. If that doesn't work, then we're talking about surgery. It's a small surgery, but it's still surgery. Uh, what I do is I cut the ligament to make your carpal tunnel bigger to get the pressure off the nerve. There is a chance, however, that when that ligament reheals itself, and it always does, that you can get your carpal tunnel symptoms again. This is only about 5%. But if it happens to you, it's 100%.